Hey guys, my name is GamerGuy18 and welcome back to the channel. Today is a bit of a different video as I will be showing you guys how to make a pro looking channel banner for YouTube. So first off guys, the apps you will need are all up on the screen. You don't need Safari, you can also use Google. Whatever search engine you have will work, but just download these apps on the App Store and then you can start the tutorial. So now I'm just assuming you have all the apps, so then you can go ahead and open up PixArt. Pixar is just used for making thumbnails, profile pictures, and much more for YouTube purposes. So then go ahead and start up your new picture or collage or whatever it's called. And then go ahead and select the first image you will be using. For me, it's a Mario Kart image. And then what you're going to want to do is go to add picture. Just ignore the pictures of my dog and my gaming setup and stuff. So then just add a picture that you can just find on Safari or with Google. It's called White Line PNG. Then once you have found it, just go ahead and place it wherever you want it to go on your image as I'm doing right now. So then, as you can see, I am completely finished, and what you're going to do is add another picture, and it, this should just be a black box. Then what you're going to want to do is stretch it out and then cut the white line down to the size you want it to be. Then once you have done this, just go ahead and select apply, and then go ahead and hit next in the top right corner. And then you can go ahead and save this image. Then once you are done with this, go ahead and head on over to the eraser app. How this works is you can just make custom PNGs. So go ahead, select new image, and then put this image in. Now what you're going to want to do is target color as you go to erase. And it will erase the black if you target the black. Now the only problem about this is it does erase a lot on the current picture. But then you can also restore it. I'm going to do that really quick by just selecting restore and then zoom in and go ahead and go over the whole picture with everything that was lost. Now I am done with this part and as you can see we have a pretty snazzy looking PNG of Bowser from Mario Kart. Then head on over to Pixar to load an unfinished project. Just hit discard changes then add a completely new picture and then scroll over to the next thing you are doing. For me I will be doing three Mario Kart, Minecraft, and Call of Duty. So go to Minecraft for me and then just go ahead and head to new images. Then select the current thing that you have and change it to the size it should be. And then as you can see, we have it right there looking pretty good. Next, what you need to do is go ahead and do the same steps that we did for the last one. So as you can see, I'm just going to put the line in right around there. I think that looks pretty good. Then hit apply so it'll cut off the edges from the picture. And then you can go ahead and add in the black box. So this one should cover up the whole rest of the picture. If it doesn't for you, that's fine. Just do the rest of the steps that I did for the last part. But as you can see, this is starting to look pretty good and coming together then you can go ahead and save this image and do the exact same steps as last time head on over to eraser head back and then select a new image i accidentally put on my favorites tab but go ahead and then select the image that you are currently working on and then target color and target the black as you can see you will have a lot of black that you have already in the pictures depending on the game you are using or whatever you are using so now I'm just going to erase all the stuff that I did accidentally erase. And this is just super easy. It shouldn't take that long. As you can see, I am already done. But yeah, then just save it as a PNG and go back onto Pixar. Pixar. 
so now you guys should be back onto Pixar. I'm just gonna discard all of the changes I have made and then head on over and find the Call of Duty background. There it is, it's just a nuke town. And then what you're gonna wanna do is scroll over and then add a new image. Then you're gonna wanna add the PNG and once you make it full size, as you can see, it looks perfect, has that nice cool look. And then the parts after this are a little more complicated but it's easy enough to understand. So just save the image. And then hit done. And then go back, hit the plus, and then go back to the image that you just saved. Go ahead, save the image again. Actually, I forgot, you need to blur it. Add the blurring feature for the second save. So go ahead and actually blur it by going into effects and then selecting blur. This will just give it the background blur effect so then if somebody is watching it on TV and they have the banner at full size, they can go ahead and see that. Then head on over to Fonto for the first time in this tutorial. By the way guys, we're almost halfway done. But then head on over to photo albums, then select the images, and then go ahead and scroll up and select YouTube banner template. You can just find this in Safari by typing in YouTube banner template. It's very easy to find. Then once you have gotten this, it'll look like that. And then you can go ahead and select add image and then head on over to this. And then we will have the blurred out one at full size just to make it look really cool. You'll have the blurred out one and then the normal one inside of it. Most devices will only be able to see the normal one, but if you are on a computer, you will see it a little bit, and then on a TV, it will just look overall really cool. And what I just did was I just lowered the alpha so then you could actually see the banner to see where it would have to be in. So then you can just see the template and judge it off of that. Once you have done this, you're going to want to go ahead and add new image by selecting add new image and then add the non blurred one once you have done this put it in the center right in where it will be to see on a mobile device the reason you're doing this is so any device you can see it fully and good so then once you have done this you're just gonna want to go ahead and select where you want it I'm just gonna put it right around here but first I'm gonna lower or raise the alpha and then put the picture back in the center so that it is at full size. Just move it around however you want to make it look perfect. So I'm just gonna increase the size a bit and then maybe move it around a little bit. And pretty much what I'm doing is making it so you can see the main parts of it in the actual mobile device so any device can see it whether you're on the go or just at your house watching it on the TV. So then I'm going to lower the alpha then to take a look at this. So then I already took a look at it so now I'm going to upper the alpha and move it back to where it should go. Then I'm going to go ahead and move down and save this image. That is the final part for this step. For this step, you can either select Pixar or Fonto. I'm just using Fonto because I have a cool font on there that I personally like to use. So then once you go into Fonto, you're going to want to have this image up and by going back and then putting the YouTube banner template. The reason you're putting it back up is so then it will have the look like you do not have to just click on something and then it'll go under that. That's how glitchy Fonto is sometimes. So then you're just gonna wanna do this. But then what you're gonna wanna do is make sure it is perfectly in the center. Just move it around a little bit if needed. So now I'm just going to add my channel logo to it, which is just a normal face. Then I'm going to go ahead and move it over so it looks just like that. 
and then lower the alpha so I can see if it is actually going in the right place. Then move it there and then go ahead and then move the actual image itself downwards or upwards so then it is above that and then click on that so it is actually over it and then you can go ahead and see what it will look like. But then what you're going to want to do is raise the alpha again by doing what I am doing on the screen right now. Then click on the face and as you can see it looks pretty good. We just need to add the text and we are all done. To add text just go ahead and click anywhere on the screen and then select add text. For me my channel is called GamerGuide18. Go subscribe if you haven't already. But now I'm just going to put the letters right there and select where I want them to go. Then what you need to do is select style right after you adjust the location of course and then go ahead and select style and then go to stroke and raise it and then lower it so this will give it the black stroke effect around it so then it will work too so you can actually see it'll look really cool you can see it even more now but then go ahead and add whatever you want next for me my channel motto is your ultimate guide to gaming so what I'm actually going to do is go back and then select return so it can be on the second line for guide to gaming. Then I'm just going to double space so it'll look pretty good and centered. And I'm going to do the same thing I did with the last one. Now we are done, you can go ahead and in the bottom right, click the little button and then scroll down to save the image. Now you have saved the official banner and then you can go on to whatever you are doing. I recommend going on to Google Chrome and then go ahead and turn it to desktop mode. Go ahead, look up a video if you want on how to do that, but then turn it into desktop mode and then actually go ahead and put it in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.